Developing this noon, the dome demolition countdown. This is a live look from our exclusive camera in downtown Atlanta. And crews will use explosives to demolish the 25 year old facility next week. And new at noon, in an exclusive one on one interview with the executive director of the Georgia World Congress Center, we're learning more about exactly what happens after the Georgia dome implosion. And Channel 2's Craig Lucy is live near the dome off Northside Drive. And Craig, the area where you are right now will be completely transformed. Major project here, Fred. Yeah, right off of Northside Drive, this will soon become the main entrance to a 1,010 room hotel, which will be tucked away right over in that corner. Then a parking garage. You will have some of this green space. And then when they implode the Georgia Dome, this is amazing. 97% of the debris will be used to fill in the area to make it level with Northside Drive. Check out these renderings. The first one will give you an overhead view showing you this hotel, which will take up around 60,000 square feet. The footprint here of the Georgia Dome. And also, another view gives you an idea of what it will look like as you're driving down International Drive, and you'll see the huge hotel right in front of you. Also, they'll be adding more than 100,000 square feet to the convention center, making it now more than one and a half million square feet of convention space over here. And in this exclusive interview with Frank Poe, who is the executive director of the Georgia World Congress Center, he gave us a timetable. Our goal is to see this hotel under construction in about January of 2000, January, February 2019, probably post Super Bowl. Initially, this was going to be uh, 800 plus hotel rooms in this brand new facility, but then they looked at the numbers and said they can actually make more. It's going to be a state owned uh, hotel with 1,010 hotel rooms. And he also gave us exclusive information on the two hotel major operators that are in play right now. We'll have that information for you starting at 4 on Channel 2 Action News. For live, we are outside the Georgia Dome here on a gorgeous day. Craig Lucy, Channel 2 Action News.